fellow creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what am I bringing to you today? Today I am bringing to you a quick and easy Dollar Tree DIY using these twine carrots that you can get at the Dollar Tree right now. This DIY is such a fun spring Easter DIY and it really is one of those pieces that can take the place of a wreath on your door. So let's not waste any more time. Let me show you what I have in mind for these twine carrots that you can get from the Dollar Tree. For this Dollar Tree Farmhouse Easter DIY, I picked up four bunches of onion grass. I also picked up 13 packs of these twine carrots. I'm gonna start off by removing the grass stems on the top of each of these twine carrots because I don't need them for this DIY, and I'm doing it by cutting them off. I found that if you tried to pull the stems out, because the twine is glued to the raffia, it caused the carrot to unravel. So cutting it is definitely the way to go. Once I've got all the green tops taken off of my carrots, I'm gonna glue together 10 of the twine carrots side by side. Then I'm gonna glue nine of these carrots together side by side, but I'm gonna do them just a bit on top of that first row of carrots, right on the bottom edge of them. And I'm gonna be sure to not only hot glue them to the bottom row, but I wanna glue them together side by side as well. And this is just gonna help to make the carrots stay together a bit better. And for every row thereafter, it'll be one carrot less than the row before, if that makes any sense. And I'm gonna continue on doing this down to three carrots. If you wanna go down to one carrot and have that pointed finish, you can. I just like the look of finishing it at three, so that's where I'll be stopping. And this is what you should be left with. Now with the onion grass, I'm gonna disassemble each bunch. It comes apart pretty easily, and you get about six or eight pieces in each bunch. Then I'm gonna take my carrots and I'm gonna flip them over to the back side. And I'm gonna hot glue my onion grass on the back side of my carrots about an inch from the top. And I'm gonna go the full length of the top row of 10 carrots. And like I always say, this would not be one of my farmhouse creations without either a twine bow or a twine flower. And so for this one, I figured I'd go with a bow and I'm using Dollar Tree's twine and I've made it six strands thick for a thicker, sturdier bow. And I figured I'd hot glue it to the front of my onion grass right off to the side. Now to hang this carrot, I just figured I'd use some twine and I made it about four strands thick and I kind of twisted it just to make it a bit thicker and sturdier and I'm just gonna hot glue it right below the onion grass on the back of my carrots. Once I've got it hot glued on, I'm gonna reinforce it by just kind of putting a good dab of hot glue over the top as well, just to ensure that it doesn't come off. I think that this is such a fun and different piece, and I love that rustic farmhouse country vibe that this puts off. For this next super quick and easy Easter DIY using Dollar Tree items, I will be using one of Dollar Tree's LED pillar candles, a roll of their brown burlap, and I'll also be using some of these speckled decorative eggs. I don't know about you, but I always seem to have really bad luck with Dollar Tree LED candles, so I like to make sure that they work before I even get started with the DIY. Then using my brown burlap roll that I also got from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna wrap it around the candle a couple of times just to make it a bit thicker so it's not so see-through and I'm gonna hot glue it. 
And yes, I will be adding a twine flower to this candle and I will be using a twine that I had left over from a previous project that I just did for Allie. I will link that video in the description box below if you're interested. This is a twine that you can get from Michaels and their dollar bins. I picked up three different colors. They've got a lot of really fun colors at Michaels and their dollar bins. Something just a bit different than the brown, green, or cream twine that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And so I thought since this is an Easter DIY, these colors that I had from that previous DIY would work perfect for this. If you haven't seen my video on how I make my twine flowers and my twine bows, I will leave that link also in the description box below where it really is just a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it a few different ways other than the way that I'm doing it right now. For the center of this twine flower, because I don't have any buttons on hand, my button stash has diminished, I figured I'd use green twine. It works just as well and I'm just going to kind of coil it and wrap it around just to accent the middle of this flower a bit give it more of that fun Easter spring feel. And I'm gonna hot glue this flower to the front of my burlap right in the center. And for these speckled eggs that the Dollar Tree is carrying this Easter, tell me these do not have such a rustic farmhouse country feel to them. I just love these. I picked up six packs of them. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with all six packs, but I know with this pack, I thought it would be cute and fun just to hot glue them together around the base of this candle. And would you look at just how stinking cute this is. This was such a quick and easy spring DIY and it too does have a bit of that country farmhouse feel to it. Guess what? My little Allie is back with another video this week and she will be uploading once a week. So make sure to head on over to her channel to see what she's got going on in her attic. You can find the link to her video in the description box below. This is such a fun piece. I love the outcome of it and it is something a bit different than just the round wreath, but it can take the place of a wreath on your door. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.